Hey, this is Mariela from The Functional Company. All right, today I wanna to talk about how eating fat can lower your cholesterol. So this is a very interesting subject, and I wanna share a story with you. Because I had a friend who came to me and said, hey, my grandfather's having a hard time. He is really having a hard time bringing his cholesterol down, and uh, he's eating low fat. So I'd like to see if you could talk to him uh, about how, what diet changes he needs to make and so he can really understand cholesterol. So now this guy, he was in his 70s, mid to late 70s, and he had been working with his doctor to try and bring his cholesterol down and he was just stumped. He was basically, he's like, I'm not, I'm not eating any fat whatsoever. I'm on a extremely low fat diet. I'm eating banana and granola and low fat milk. And you know, if I, uh, he just avoids um, fat at all costs, right? Low fat cheese or no cheese at all and no mayo and just mustard and you know, all this kind of stuff like a sandwich with low fat turkey and all these things, right? And so he's like, I'm not eating any fat. I don't understand why my cholesterol does not go down. And so what was interesting is that we actually made this switch and I explained to him something I'm gonna explain to you right now. But I, we switched, I said, instead of banana and granola, you're gonna have eggs and bacon. He was just like, what are you talking about? Because obviously he had been told that, you know, if you eat fat, your cholesterol is gonna go up, especially saturated fat, so you're not going to eat those things. And I said, listen, your body has its own internal mechanism to produce cholesterol. If you don't eat it and your body needs it, your body will produce it. And if you eat it and you don't need it, your body won't produce it. So it's like a check and balance, checks and balance uh, process that your body has, right? It's not enough to just avoid fat, right? In fact, fat is not the thing that's gonna make your cholesterol go up or down. It's something else because we have to understand that what cholesterol is, cholesterol, they're like little band-aids for the body, right? They're like firemen and band-aids, right? They go to where there is inflammation. And so your body, if, it, if there's a lot of inflammation or repair that's needed in the body, then the body will produce cholesterol to go repair that area. So on the one hand, it, it is normal to see as people age, to see the level of cholesterol rise a little bit. Why? Because there's a lot more repair occurring in the body constantly as a person ages. So that's a normal mechanism and not something to be afraid of. That's number one. Uh, number two, we need cholesterol to produce hormones. But again, we're going back to this thing where uh, if we have inflammation in the body, the body says, hey, we need cholesterol, starts to produce it, right? And so then it'll go to that area where the inflammation is. And so this is the thing, if, if you, I was telling this guy, right? It's like, if your uh, cholesterol is high, then there could be inflammation somewhere in the body. And one of the main reasons you're gonna have inflammation is because you have too much insulin present in your blood. What causes too much insulin in your blood? Too much sugar, too many carbohydrates. That's the banana, that's the granola, that's the low fat milk, that's the bread. All of this stuff that you think is so healthy to eat. What we have to do is bring down the overall carbohydrate count and we gotta raise the fat. And when you consume the fat, your body doesn't have to produce the cholesterol. If you're gonna consume the cholesterol with your fat, uh, then your body is not going to produce it, right? As much, it's got this checks and balance. What we have to do is bring down the inflammation. What's interesting is I shared, explained all of this to him, and I have a few more episodes on cholesterol if you wanna check those out on YouTube or through uh, my Flip Your Mindset About Health podcast. You can check those out to learn a little bit more. But so what we have to do is we actually have to flip this ratio, right? So we gotta bring down the inflammation, bring down the total amount of carbohydrates that you're consuming, and bring up your fat. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. He did it for one month, okay? And then he got tested again, boom, his cholesterol was back to normal. He was just like, this is incredible. Not only is my cholesterol back to normal, but I feel great. He had so much energy, he loves to golf. You know, it was just, he was so excited and motivated, but it's so interesting, right? Because there was some false information in his universe because he's like, I don't understand. If I'm applying a low fat diet, why is my cholesterol high? Well, that's because there's some false information we've been given about cholesterol and how it relates to our diet. So you have to learn more about how cholesterol works in the body so you're not so afraid of it. We've been scared to death about consuming cholesterol and it's actually such a valuable component of health. So we have to understand how it works, understand what it means, and understand how to keep ourselves well so that our cholesterol stays at normal levels, right? All right, so thanks so much for tuning in. I wanted to share that story with you today and don't forget to check out my other episodes on cholesterol on YouTube and on uh, the Functional Podcast, right? Which is Flip Your Mindset about health. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you on the flip side.
Hey, if you're liking the information on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, click the button and share this with your friends and family. We've got lots more information coming. Thanks so much for being here.